Hello everyone, this is an instruction how to do background matting or rotoscoping directly in Python Blender. Uh, as you can see, results are very well. I will base all the instruction on this particular library. You can visit the project site, watch promotional videos, a lot of links in the bottom. What's important, you have to download model weights from Google Drive, I will choose PyTorch version, other are also possible, and the best quality will be given by ResNet 101, the fastest is MobileNet V2. Uh, image matting and vid uh, video matting uh, demos are available on Collab uh, from the authors, so feel free to use, they will be happy, I think so, and usage documentation is also there. Uh, and everything is on mid -licen license, which is very primitive. And if you would like to have fast check, you can do a web demo by Gradio. But please be aware that they probably use mobile net, so this is fast, but not the best quality. Probably. Uh, so I have done everything in portable version of Blender, downloaded from the web page of Blender. And the code, which is that is based on the GitHub that I have shown you is on my uh, GitHub. And with this code, you do not have to um, use GPU, CPU is everything you need. So first of all, you have to install all, all of the libraries in Blender. So this is the first script. And the second script is about uh, background mating itself. Um, yes. So you have just to run it, so nothing really fancy, but the structure of catalogs is really important. So basically speaking, uh, in this portable blender in Python catalog, you have to unzip background matting master from the first GitHub that you have seen. Apart from it, um, waits for the ResNet neural network. And in catalogs in and out, and in in you have you need to have input images. In out output images will be created, and the clean plate PNG is also needed. So the clean plate, the background plate without the person. Uh, so the output would be masks that can be used in rotoscoping, per se. Um, so basically speaking, this kind of model is used if you have a background, but the constant background. So mo movement of, uh, of the camera is kind of problematic. Slight movements are okay, but the big movement is not. But in the bottom, in the links, I also would like to give you some link uh, to CG Matter default cube video uh, about texture painting, te texture in painting. And basically speaking, if we replace clean plate with tracked image of the footage without the person, yes, so we do the tracking uh, of the background, we replace the person with the background that should be there, uh, it should be possible to do green screening without any problem also on the moving video which is uh, on the moving camera which should be uh, quite useful in many places so basically speaking this was the instruction how to work with the library without coda in the bottom you will find instructions also uh, for coda related uh, installation by another youtuber links uh, to the GitHub pages and to other stuff. Yeah, so thank you very much.